Welcome everyone to another three questions in three minutes, the sports betting power players edition. I am joined today by Lloyd Danzig, founder and managing partner of Sharp Alpha Advisors, which is a venture capital firm that focuses on sports betting and online gambling. Thank you, Lloyd, for joining me. Thanks a lot for having me, Anna. Great to be here. So could you describe your philosophy uh, when it comes to investment in an industry like um, sports betting, which is still very much establishing itself? Yeah, you know, it's important to remember that the explosion of online sports betting is taking place amidst a broader paradigm shift in the delivery and consumption of what I call competitive entertainment. And so rapidly evolving consumer preferences coupled with behavioral shifts that have been accelerated by the pandemic have resulted in this massive innovation opportunity that the market leaders and largest companies are ill-equipped to pursue organically. And so as early stage investors with a long-term outlook, we underwrite products and platforms that will provide the foundation for the sports and gaming ecosystem five to 10 years from now. And so the nascency of the sports betting space is exactly what excites us the most about it. Awesome. Yeah, amazing. And you also talk about innovation quite frequently. Um, so what is your impression of innovation when it comes to the New York market specifically? Is there something that the state can do to better foster innovation? Yeah, I mean, New York City leads the world in venture capital funding for crypto startups. Every major sports league is headquartered here as are a majority of the top investment banks and private equity firms. We have some of the most valuable, albeit underperforming professional sports franchises in the world. There is deep, pools of talent and capital. Uh, with all that said, specifically as relates to sports betting, the current tax and regulatory regime is not particularly conducive to innovation, especially compared to those of other states, even if it does maximize short-term tax revenues for New York. I see, I see. Uh, so as the industry continues to develop then, uh, what are some growth opportunities uh, or some changes maybe to the existing industry that you hope to see? We're entering a really interesting era in, in the time for sports and gaming and entertainment. And so to us, the most exciting growth opportunities are the ones that leverage technology to enable sports and gaming to serve as a vehicle for social connection and entertainment in more meaningful and effortless and authentic ways than ever before. Right. And that sounds, I, I mean, I've heard this from a couple of different people, but there are just so many opportunities uh, with, you know, with sports betting. Um, the innovation really is uh, limitless. You know, it's just the beginning of a really exciting new frontier. Uh, to so use the sports analogy, people say, you know, we're in the bottom of the first inning at the latest uh, on the develop of the sports betting industry. Definitely, definitely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, and we're really excited to see this industry continue to develop. So thank Thanks you a lot for having me, Anna.